Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be making a start at the very least on my review of The Hungry by Stephen W. Booth and Harry Shannon. So this is published by Genius Book Publishing, and Stephen W. Booth is kind of their, their head honcho. Um, and they're going to be uh, republishing Meat, which is one of my books, and so uh, I thought I'd pick up one of their books to sort of check out the quality, check out the quality of the writing, and also things like the formatting. Uh, spoiler alert, I was happy with the formatting, pretty good for an indie book. I will say, on the back it's got this little QR code there that is printed on top of the blurb, so it's kind of hard for me to read you the blurb, but I'm going to give it a go. Then I'll go through and check out some of my tabs, and then I'll share my overall thoughts and rating at the end, so... Dane reads... Sheriff Penny Miller of Flat Rock, Nevada. Miller is the kind of woman who will do whatever it takes to protect those she has sworn to, even when that includes a murderous biker, her wimpy ex-husband, uh, one of the incompetent National Guardsmen and the scientists responsible for releasing the undead upon an unsuspecting world. I did have to guess at a few of those words because, as I say, there's that um, QR code over it. And we have this um, introduction as well, which I think is quite cool. Uh, there's also an outro. So that in the introduction, uh, which is written by Joe McKinney, uh, he writes, Women do the lion's share of reading these days, at least if the surveys in Cosmopolitan are to be believed. And women, if you'll forgive my stereotyping, usually enjoy reading about strong female characters. They find it easy to identify with cool chicks doing cool things. Um, and he just basically says, you'll rarely find a woman reading a book on the seals, for instance, or the history of Vietnam's tunnel rats. Unless, it's, unless of course, it's an exercise in curiosity. A chance to see what convinced the man in her life to pick up a book for the first time in a decade. I don't know, man. I, I, I read everything. And I am a man. Although I did get called androgynous the other day. Okay, so still in the introduction, I thought this was great. Horror fiction is the mirror of our society, and its past and present masters are poets of our continual struggle to understand ourselves. Our current fascination with apocalyptic and zombie-oriented stories is certainly part of this dialogue. You have to wonder, with so many shambling, voracious hordes of the living dead advancing through today's short stories and novels, if the writers of such tales aren't making statements about how scary life is in our modern times. We are faced with dwindling resources. Our pursuit of happiness is bogged down by debt and mounting responsibilities. Our cities are overrun with inexplicable mob violence, and daily the news shows us crimes of such savage, vacant-minded rage that one has to wonder if the real zombie apocalypse isn't right around the corner. Or maybe it's already begun. And this was written in 2011, which I think is interesting too. Okay, so the hungry. So Deputy Sheriff Bob Wells is telling Penny Miller, the, the leader of our story, the protagonist, what's happened. So she goes, you okay, Bob? You've been drinking. I ain't had a drop, Sheriff, I swear. It was the strangest damn thing I ever saw. Old Grabowski came out of the bushes while I was talking to Miss Barbara. Looked like shit, some sort of zombie. He tackled her and started biting. I tried to pull him off her, but his arm came right out of his shoulder. Miss Barbara was screaming. Jesus, blood come out of her quick as a double-dick bull pissing on a flat rock. He wouldn't stop, so I shot him. He kept on biting anyway. I shot him again in the head this time, and then he quit. And Scratch, who's another one of the characters who kind of is along for the ride, um, he, he has this great exclamation. He goes, holy damn Jesus Christ on a jet ski. And I just thought this was, it's quite sad, but it's also realistic, I think. A dog ran down the middle of the street looking confused and lost. One of the bikers gunned it down without a thought. Everyone jumped. Scratch called, save your ammo, you dumb shit. We get a reference to a hulking zombie falling over backwards and coming down with the grace of the Hindenburg on approach to Lakehurst, which I just thought was a nice little historical reference. Uh, the Hindenburg disaster is one of those things that's always kind of fascinated me, you know? Another great exclamation, we get shit on a shingle. And just another turn of phrase, that I think that's what I like the most out of this, is that some of the little turns of phrase in it. So here we get, she was tired and really hungry. Right then, she could have eaten the ass end out of a dead elephant. The plotting was pretty good. I mean, it's pretty standard for a zombie novel. Um, but again, there are these like really delicious little turns of phrase. And then the action was pretty good, like the actual like zombie fight scenes were quite well written and so we get kind of this uh, Sanchez said I need your full attention Penny you're like a fart in an elevator Sanchez you already have my full attention we get a reference to the seven habits of highly effective people and there's a reference as well to them um, saving some rounds so that you know if they get overwhelmed by the zombies they can kill each other rather than rather than turd which is delightfully dark I love it so yeah, The Hungry by uh, Stephen W. Booth and Harry Shannon, uh, book one in this series by Genius Book Publishing. As I say, I was mostly reading this to get an idea of the quality of their publishing. I'm quite impressed with like things like the layout, cover design, all of that stuff is pretty good. Uh, quality of the book is good, the quality of the writing is great as well. As I say, there's a whole series of this, so I might read some more of it later, but um, just 
kind of rating this as a standalone, it works on that as, as well. So overall, I gave The Hungry by Stephen W. Booth and Harry Shannon a 3.5 out of 5. So there we have it. That's what I made of The Hungry by Stephen W. Booth and Harry Shannon. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments what you thought of this book if you read it. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more. And I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.